Happy hump day, meteorologist Katya Hall. We have a weak impulse sitting north of the Bahamas developing across this area. We have a lot of showers and storms, and some of these showers could push into the eastern of half of the peninsula this morning as you're heading to work. But most of the rainfall should start to fire up along the sea breeze as we get that daytime heating by 1 2 o'clock. You can see those showers and storms developing from Vero Beach down into Miami, and then showers and storms push west later in the day. So Orlando down into our inland communities through southwest Florida, some showers and storms and some of those storms could be on the stronger side, but we're not expecting any severe weather today. Tomorrow with high pressure dominating the forecast, drier air moves in and our rain chances go down a little bit. Still can't rule out the chance for an isolated shower or storm, especially across south southwest Florida for tomorrow. And then for your Friday, we're going to be tracking a front that's going to increase those clouds and also those rain chances across the panhandle into Friday afternoon. Afternoon. In general, a chance of those showers and storms firing up along the sea breeze across South Florida. The bulk of the rainfall now into the next few days will be across our inland communities. You can see this blue color popping up. This indicates rainfall up to maybe one and one and a quarter of an inch of rain over the next few days. So afternoon temperatures, it is going to be hot. It's going to be humid. Highs in the upper 80s to low 90s. A little relief in that heat and humidity by early next week.